Welcome back to the channel. You're tuned into our episode of the TJJ Show. As long as you're my presence, you'll be guided and protected at all times. I'm coming through with another video, and on this topic, we're going to go over why narcissists are like entitled children, which they are. But just know that if you have a narcissist in your life, you can't possibly have a moment of peace to yourself. You can't have a moment to yourself. It's all about them. It's all about what you can do on a day-to-day -day basis to make them happier because they cannot make themselves happier. They lack empathy, they lack love for themselves, which is why they use other people for fuel, because they got no fuel for whatever stupid ass reason they have in their excuse book. They just, they're just lazy, entitled, arrogant, slime ball types of people. That's what they are, they're fucking slime balls. As long as you have a narcissist in your life, it could be a parent, it could be with a partner in a relationship, it could be a friend, it could be a group of friends, you will not feel like yourself because you will always lack energy. You're going to lack energy because you got these bloodsuckers in your life. It's the exact same as having a child in the beginning stages. You almost can never have a moment to yourself because you're constantly taking care of a child. That's why narcissists make terrible parents. That's why beautiful little kids grow up so messed up because they had such piss poor parenting. Because like I said, narcissists do not want to give anything. They don't want to give shit. It's all about them. It's all about the fuel they can get for their own life. They don't want to give. They don't want to give to a newborn kid. It probably bothers a narc mother to breastfeed to her child, knowing that she's actually giving to this baby. As crazy as that sounds. Now, I don't know if I'd go that far, but it's probably accurate for her. The nastiest narcissist out there probably is. <clears throat> as long as you have one of these people in your life, you're never going to feel like yourself. You're always going to feel like you're taking care of a toddler. You have no peace. You have nobody doing any favors for you back. You, you can't relax. You can't, like, they hate, they hate when you're happy. They hate when you're actually relaxed and you are happy and content with your own life and yourself. They only come around to suck the life out of you because it gives them more life to feast on your soul, to feast on you as a person. This gives them fuel. That's why they're taking fuel from so many people. They're using so many different people so they can constantly suck up this fuel. And most narcs do grow up with a shitty childhood. They were given just about nothing. They grew up soulless. They grew up without developing a soul and a heart because they, were, they weren't given shit. So they go back and abuse other people for the abuse that was done to them. They don't see any way else around it. This is exactly what they do. If you have a narc in your life, you will never reach 
the destinations that you could if you eliminated them from your life. Because the only thing they're doing is taking. And as long as you are with them and connected with them on a day-to-day -day basis, the only thing they're going to do is take, 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 take fuel from you and never give you anything in return. They're going to take all your soul power. This is almost worse than taking money because money you can make back. You can't get... You can't take back all that damage that was done after it's done. That's trauma. You can heal from that, but as long as you're still in your life, you're never going to fully heal. This is what a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people have a hard time cutting these people out of their life because they feel they need them for whatever reason. Even myself, looking back at my younger self, I feel like a dumbass for actually wanting any of these people in my life. God showed me true colors at a young age. And I'm forever grateful for that because I made bad decisions by about my grade 12 year in high school and it started to lead me in the wrong direction with the wrong people. And when you start partying and you start doing these things in high school, this is where things can go really bad for you. Very, very bad. Because you're going to get in with a lot of these types of people. People that's just taken. They're not true friends. You're not going to have true friends in that parody phase that you're in. Don't mistake in all these people that you're partying with to be your friend. Because you're in for a rude awakening. They never have your back like you think they have your back. Not when it comes to real life. It's just turn up buddies. That's all it is. This is around the stage where I went wrong in my life and it started leading to seeing these narc females out and about at parties. And then it turned into me turning 19 years old, seeing some at clubs meeting the wrong people, getting in with the wrong people. And this is usually the places where you're going to meet these types of people. You have to have enough strength and willpower to be by yourself for as long as you need to be by yourself until the right people come in and not get lonely, or not get desperate, or not be needy for certain things to just happen like this, because it ain't gonna happen. I thought I was doing the right thing when I was getting in with these pretty little girls running around. I thought I was the coolest shit going, you know? Not literally, but in my head, I felt pretty badass for picking up all these hot girls and doing this and doing that, but little did I know, what I was getting myself into. And I know now. And looks don't mean shit because you have to you have to get into somebody's soul to see the truth of who they are before you let them in. Before you give them your heart or you're gonna pay a heavy ass price for just going after people for how they present themselves in the beginning and the way they look. This is what I was doing. Cause Looks do matter to a certain extent. Physical appearance does matter to a certain extent. It's not everything, but you see that when you're young. You see that first impression that people make. They act like the nicest, most caring, nurturing, most feminine woman you'll ever meet. And they just, it seems like heaven on earth. And it's really hell. They're predators on the inside, and if you look into their eyes, you can see that. 
a lot of them are good too. A lot of them, their eyes will, their pupils will just, you know, you will think they're super attracted to you, which you know what, they are. That's where it gets you too. You're like, this person seems so loving, so caring, so nurturing, so beautiful. And it looks to me like she's in love with me. You know what, all these things stand out in the beginning stage when you see them and it's it's not the case they could have beauty they could have that good first impression they could be attracted to you but there's something missing from the picture that is not being understood you don't know what you're getting yourself into until you're into it and you're going to realize they're not there for you like you were there for them. You are only there for them, and that's what they are attracted to. They're not there for you, and they don't care about you at all. It's only what can I gain from this? And let's go back to the title of this video. Narcissists are entitled children. What do children do? They don't give a damn about you, they're too young to give a damn about you to know what this shit is. To know what true love is. They're only being taught at a young age what it is. That's why they have to be taught. They have to be taught right from wrong. They need to be taught true empathy. They, they, empathy. they need to be showed empathy. They need to be showed love and all these things and how to care for another person. And that other people matter. Narcs are not taught this growing up. That's why they are entitled children at a much older age. And it's scary to see. It's scary to see when you see those true colors because they are not the person you thought they were. And when you never go through something like this and you go through it, It just, it just rocks your world. I remember the first time it happened to me. I froze up. Couldn't believe what just happened. I feel like I died. Literally, froze, dead. That's how they make you feel. They put you on ice. They freeze you up. Because they want you dead. It's all a trick. It's all a trap. That's why you should never let them play their game on you. Because whenever they're coming in, whenever you see them out at a party, that's where they strike. That's where they're coming in to make that first impression. That's where they're coming in to show you this sweet side that they have and their good looks and all these things that look amazing, right? That's where they show you this. That's the game they play. They bring you into that. And they get in your head from that very beginning sequence. From the very beginning, they, their plan is to get in your head and to play their game. And to tell you everything you want to hear. To get you attached as fast as possible. So they can suck somebody in and use them till death. It's nothing but evil. It's still, when I think about it to a deep level, it still surprises me to this day that this shit even exists. Like, how, how, how are they not exposed even more than they are from doing these things to people? Their name should be smeared everywhere. Whenever you catch somebody doing something like this, their name should literally be smeared and written up everywhere to watch out for this fucking person because they are not normal. 
Whenever a narc is caught, they should be locked up until they are ready to be a regular person. They should be locked up in a jail where they teach narcs how to be a loving, caring person. Because that's the only damn way it seems that they're ever going to learn. And you know what? To have professionals, this could be a new this could be a new job for somebody. This could be a new business. This could be a new profession. This could be a new thing that happens in the world. To literally have narc facilities. To throw them in there. To teach them what they need to be taught. And to test them. And to make sure they are all right to walk out of the doors. So they don't fucking kill anybody else or damage anybody else for life. Because it's what they do. What do you guys think about that? I think it would be a damn good idea. And this has popped up in my head right now. Thinking deep into this topic. I got nothing left to say on this topic, guys. That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Peace and blessings to you all. I'm out.